Hey everyone, and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I will show you step by step how to transfer BNB from MetaMask to Qcoin. I noticed that there wasn't really a video out there explaining how to do this clearly. So, if you appreciate me making this video, please let me know by leaving a like. And without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you'll need to do is to go over to your Qcoin account and log in. Once you're logged in, you need to go over to Assets in the top right and click on your main account. Because, as you can see, over on this page, you can deposit and withdraw. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And you'll then need to go over to the deposit button in the middle of your screen at the top. Now you'll need to select the currency you want to deposit. Like I said, in this tutorial, I will show you how to deposit BNB. So search for BNB, then select BNB. And once you've done that, you'll get this notice message. Please specify both memo and address to deposit Binance Mainnet tokens to your Qcoin account. You can then click on I have read and fully understand the risks. Continue. You'll then see the notice pop up. Please enter both the memo and the address like it said before. So you can just click on OK. And once you've done that, you need to go over to your MetaMask. If you're using Google, you can go over to your extension page and click on MetaMask. Now I recommend you press on those three buttons right here and click on Expand View. Because in doing so, you'll get MetaMask in full screen. And I personally like this way better to work with. You'll then need to make sure that you're in your Binance Smart Chain and not on the Ethereum mainnet. So please select the Binance Smart Chain. And once you've done that, you can click on Send right here. And you can then copy your address. Now, to my knowledge, it's not possible to add your memo or MetaMask. I'll show this to you. When you paste in your address, you'll see the Not Ethereum Network set to lowercase. So, what you need to do is to select the BEP20. BEP2 is for all the standard Binance coins. And BEP20 is the Binance Smart Chain. So we need to click on BAP20 and you can then copy your address right here. And once you've clicked on that button, you'll see copied. So once you've copied your address, you can just paste in your Binance Smart Chain address. And you'll then see this menu. Now, you need to go over to the amount and fill in the amount of BNB you would like to transfer. Now, I don't hold any BNB or MetaMask anymore because in my previous video, I explained to you how to transfer from MetaMask to Binance, but the process will still work the same. So once you've entered the amount of BNB, and if you want to, you can change the gas price and the gas limit. However, however, it's not needed and it's quite complicated to explain. But to put it in simple terms, the more gas price and gas limit you're willing to pay, the faster your transfer will come through. So if you really want your transfer to come through as soon as possible, you could increase the amount you're willing to pay. And once you've double checked all the information, so the address, the coin, and the amount, you can then go ahead and click on next. You'll then be sent over to this menu. Right here you can see your estimated gas fee and the total, so the amount plus the gas fee. If you do want to change your estimated gas fee, you can pay the gas price and the gas limit by clicking on edit. But if you're fine with the current estimated gas fee, you can just go ahead and click on confirm. And when you go over to your Binance Smart Chain Network or MetaMask, you can go over to activity and you will then be able to see that your transfer is pending. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.